Good afternoon, Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise, AutoAppraise.com. Whoops, I'm in my, I'm creating some shadow here. Doing an inspection and a test drive on a 1934 uh, glass body Ford. It's a Gibbons body. Just got done doing a three hour long inspection on the car. Getting ready to take her out for a run. The body itself is in real nice shape. It's represented to have about 2,400 miles uh, since it was purchased at auction prior to this current owner's owning it. The uh, chrome on the car is in very nice shape. There's no unusual uh, pitting going on. This grill bezel has a little bit of stage one uh, uh, pitting, I will call that and a little bit of a fittage issue needs to be tightened up and fit in there but the the trim is in nice shape the bumpers are in real nice shape went through and checked out all the power accessories lights etc everything appears to be working on the car except the dome lights not operable it's uh, fitted up with a bucket seat interior, seat belts front and rear, done in a kind of a camel tweed, tan carpet. The interior is in nice shape. It's a power six way bucket on the other side that works. These are reclining buckets. They look very similar to something perhaps out of a Pontiac Bonneville GM. I can't quite put my finger on what they are. If you know, send me a message. Vintage air controls, billet uh, digital dash trim, billet pedals. The uh, door handles open remotely from the inside. These doors on the uh, handles from the outside are, are just for show apparently because the driver's passenger door handles don't operate. There's a couple small paint chips here and there, but no major cracks in the fiberglass color match looks pretty good outside it's got a boxed frame a 350 Chevy this is a custom tape job I just applied to the car this mirror was a little loose and I was afraid I was gonna lose it on the test drive so I taped it up uh, it needs to be tightened and that door panel has got to come off to do it and I didn't come here to work on it I just came here to test drive it so that's how I fixed it. Underside of the car is all painted when it was done. It's pretty clean. It's got a little bit of typical road rash and debris. No active leaks coming out of the pumpkin, the rear main, or the trans. And the stone chips are really almost too insignificant to uh, talk about. A couple small touch-ups here and there. Small touch-up right here. The engine bay is nice. It's got I did it uh, tilt column. I think this is the release for the engine bay. I think. Well, let's just not do that. Let's hop in and take it for a ride. Give you a quick peek underneath the vehicle from the rear since I'm out here still. 800-301. 3886. We do these inspections all over the country. Anywhere you find a car for sale, that's where we can go. Two and a quarter inch exhaust, magna flow, mufflers, power seat controls operate. This seat material is exposed a little right here. I think that can be pulled back down. It's not torn. This door over here has got a remote release underneath the running board, by the way, cable, cable driven remote. Doors close nice. Just pulled her out of the building. She's charging. Engine doesn't sound like it has a uh, cam in it. I mean, of course it's got a cam, but a mild one. Nothing too lumpy, stock. Turn that on and see how that operates. Fan controls are working, the horn works, turn signals work. Oil pressure's at 41, you probably can't see that. Nice billet steering wheel. Got a low car shifter. 
that is in gear. Power windows operate from up here. And uh, they need to be cleaned, but they work good. A rack and pinion uh, front end Mustang 2 or Fat Man, something similar to that. Looked good down there, looked clean. The left rear tire has a bit of a scuff on the sidewall where it's made some uh, contact with the fender. Nothing too drastic. This road's pretty rough. indicates we're doing 51 miles an hour that might be reading a little bit heavy might need to be calibrated it feels like we're doing about 35 to maybe 40 in that range I'm stepping on the brakes right now hands off the wheel as you can see the vehicle seems to have a good pedal doesn't really seem to be uh, pulling significantly one way or the other accelerator pedal feels good Good action. Passing gear works. We're in a downtown area where the speed limit's 25, so uh, I'll have to wait and get out here on the main road. Let's see if that cools me up a bit. 1934 Ford fiberglass Gibbons body. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise. Out test driving a car for a pre purchase inspection today. Long distance client considering buying this vehicle and wanted to know what it looked like up close. Got 150 plus photos of the vehicle, jacked it up, put it on ramps actually. It does feel like that air is uh, getting cool. I'm going to give you a quick shot of my head in the headroom above me. I'm doing this because these uh, chop top cars uh, can be difficult to fit for people that are tall. I'm six feet tall and I got a long torso and uh, I got plenty of headroom in this. I'm not uncomfortable. Probably somebody could be 6'2 or 6'3 and uh, still enjoy this without uh, making contact. Maybe even 6'4. That's a trivial side note there. The air feels like it's working. 42 pounds of uh, oil pressure, doing 25 miles an hour. Water temp's coming up to 145. We're running to 1,280, 1,300 RPMs at 37 miles an hour. The uh, paper information on the car indicates it's got a 410 in it. That seems like a big stiff rear end. The transmission appears to be a 4L60. Uh, small block Chevy crate or uh, later motor. I'm going to spin around and uh, give it a little on the way back towards this shop. Uh, coming over some uh, lumpy stuff like this going into the parking lot, I made a little contact with the left front wheel on a sharp aggressive turn like I'm making right now. Right now it doesn't appear to be doing that, so you probably just got to be careful when you're pulling in and out of uh, bumpy and tight radius turns, I would guess. Well, let's see what we got here. Let's hope that doesn't earn me a ticket. It's aggressive. She wants to run, as I often say. Steering feels good, the brakes feel good, and uh, my knees are getting cold, so I'm guessing that air conditioning is working. I'm gonna take that down here. It's hitting me right in the knee. By the way, here's my leg clearance. Pretty comfortable. It's got tilt wheel, so uh, bring that up a little bit and bring my legs together.
good little driver. Small block Chevy in a 1934 Ford. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise, AutoAppraise.com, doing a pre-purchase inspection today. On a glass body Gibbons car. Let us know if we can do an inspection for you sometime. 310 nationwide inspectors out looking cars over, taking photos, doing magnet tests. The magnet test on this car didn't go so well. But uh, we're out there assisting you before you pull the trigger on eBay or wherever it is you're going to buy a car long distance sight unseen because you saw a few photos. Make sure you know what you're getting before it shows up in your driveway. Otherwise, your friends will all make fun of you. 800-301-3886. Thank you for watching. Check out some of our other cool classic car test drive videos on YouTube where you're watching this. Leave us some uh, favorable feedback. And uh, let us know what you think. Thanks a bunch.